Hi everyone. So in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you the first part of your final assessment, uh, which is going to involve writing a news report uh, based on a short story that you are going to read. So basically, you're going to read a short story, and then you're going to write a, write a news report that is based on something that happens in the story. Um, and what I mean by something that happens, uh, your news report can be about the whole story. If you have a relatively um, short story that really just covers one event, you can write about that event. If you have a story that really has a few different things happening in the event, uh, feel free to just pick one of those things. But essentially, you're going to be reporting on something that happens in the story. Um, it can be something major. It can be something minor. Uh, it's going to depend on what type of story you read. Uh, you can also report on something maybe that happens after the story, um, but you do have to make a connection with something that happens in the story and with characters in the story. Okay, so as long as you do that, as long as you connect your news report to something that happens in the story and some of the characters in the story, uh, then you can meet the expectations for this assignment. Okay, so like we said, choose any event you wish. Could be major, could be minor. Uh, and you have to also quote, right? So remember quotation marks, you have to create a quotation uh, for at least one character in the story. Uh, you can do more than one character if you want, but the minimum expectation is that you quote just uh, you quote one character. Okay, so essentially in this final assessment, you're going to be graded on sort of two major things. You're going to be graded on how well do you write a news report? Are you able to write in that style? Um, as well as your understanding of the elements of fiction in your short story. Uh, because you're going to be writing about that short story, so you're clearly going to have to understand some elements of plot, of character, of conflict, um, and perhaps some other uh, elements of fiction as well. Um, but because that's the material that your report is based on, um, I'll be able to see how well you understand some of those things. Okay, uh, you're going to need to submit an outline uh, based on the template provided. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to read your outline and provide you with some feedback. Uh, alternatively, or in addition, you can do both if you want. You can make an appointment with me on Microsoft Teams. So when we get closer to the state, I'm going to have a sign-up sheet for you. Um, and you can meet with me and we'll have a conversation about your outline and I'll give you feedback that way. Um, if you would prefer it or if you would like this in addition to written feedback. Okay, um, but if you can't use Microsoft Teams, uh, I can also phone you. So please just send me an email and I'm happy to do that. Uh, this will be due on Tuesday, June 9th, so the conversation will need to be held roughly around that time if you want to have a conversation. Um, if you can't do Tuesday and you want to do Monday or you want to do Wednesday, that's fine, um, but it should be around this time so that you have uh, enough time to complete the rest of the project. Okay, so you're going to read your short story, you're going to complete this outline by Tuesday, June 9th, and then you're going to write a full news report based on your outline, so four to five paragraphs, and this will be submitted and graded. Um, and this will be due on Tuesday, June the 16th. Okay, so um, your task essentially is three steps. So like we said, step one, select a short story from a short story list. So you'll have a list of short stories. Uh, number two, complete the outline template below. So this is your outline here. Uh, it looks similar to some other outlines you've written. I've made a couple of minor alterations, but it's very similar. Um, so you want to think about words that come to mind when you think about the event from your story. So you're going to choose an event from your story to write about. Think about some words that will help you. Um, what your news report is about. And then you have your five W's and your H, right, which are important in any news report. Um, list of participants that are going to be in your story. So this could be just one person if you have that type of story that focuses on just one person or maybe have a few. Uh, make sure that you write a headline for your news report. And you need to have two quotations. Okay, so you need the name of the person, uh, which includes their first name and last name. Uh, if that's not provided in the story, if you only have a first name, uh, feel free to make up a last name. Um, and a job title or at least what they are doing. So maybe they're not working, maybe they are a student, um, but you could say they're a student at whatever school and whatever grade they are in. You could identify the person that way if that's the case. So what's new here is character trait because you need to create a quotation um, that is something that the character would say. Okay, so um, if they are maybe by nature an angry person, then your quotation probably has some anger to it. 
Uh, if they're a funny person, maybe they have kind of a joke or something funny that they're writing in their quote. Um, so identify a character trait and then write a quotation based on uh, that trait. Okay, um, you need two quotations. So again, some stories really only focus on one character. So you could use the same character twice, or if you like, you could use two different characters. Okay, and then finally, you have your concluding section for a news report. So again, usually that's pretty short, usually just a few sentences. How did the event end? Or maybe what might happen next? Um, or if you remember with some of our news reports we were writing about disasters, um, we were saying that you could kind of end off by saying how the audience could engage, maybe if there's a place they could donate money to to help people live through the disaster, um, that kind of thing. So you wrap up your report. Okay, so essentially by the 9th you have to have this outline completed and uh, I will give you feedback. And then after that, you're going to write the actual full four to five paragraph report based on uh, this outline. Okay, so this is going to be much the same as any other report that we've done. You need to have a headline. You need to have a byline. So remember that includes your name as the author of the piece. Uh, your report will be four to five paragraphs long. So you're going to have a lead paragraph, a concluding paragraph, and two or three body paragraphs. Remember, the lead paragraphs tend to be very short, they're concise, they're one to three sentences, um, and they should lay out as many of the five W's and H as possible. Um, obviously, you're not going to need to, you're not going to be able to get into a lot of detail here, uh, but you should be able to lay out sort of the basic five W's of the story um, and maybe a little bit of the H in your lead. You then move on to your body paragraphs, which should follow the inverted pyramid structure, so you're going to be adding detail. You're going to be adding your quotations and you are going to need to organize this in a way that makes sense. So typically this might be done chronologically. You might sort of mention what happens step by step by step in order of time. Um, but here's where you're going to be providing the details of your report. Your quotations should appear in these body paragraphs. And they, as we said, they should come from at least one character in the story and they should reflect the character's traits. But also your quote should be written in the correct news report format, right? So you remember that you include their name and title. Uh, but also your quotations need to be informative. Um, you shouldn't have a quotation that just says something like, wow, it was amazing, because that doesn't allow the reader to really learn anything about what happened, right? When, when reporters write about uh, give a quotation in a news report, Typically, that quotation is used to provide information about something. So you need to provide some information. It shouldn't be just an emotion. If you are making um, an emotional quote, that's fine. But your emotion needs to be uh, referring to something that happened. So not just saying, wow, it was amazing or something like that. Okay. Report should be written in the past tense. And do not use pronouns like we or I. So don't say like I think or we did or... Um, we should have, right, you're writing this report um, basically in the past tense and you're not including yourself because when you're writing a report, it's not about you, it's about what happened and it should be just the facts. So you should not be putting your opinion in there. Okay, and then as we said, you should also end this with a concluding paragraph in where you say how the event ended, maybe what might happen next, or how your audience can engage with the story. Okay. Once we get through that, you're basically done. So the only thing left to talk about here is the marking scheme. So your knowledge grade is going to be based on um, your understanding of the events of the short story. Uh, is it clear when I read the, your report that you know what happened in the story? Um, is it clear that, I under, that you understand the character or characters in the story? So don't think that you have to put the whole story in your news report. I'm not going to be marking it and saying, oh, well, this person didn't put the whole story in there, so I'm not sure if they understood. Um, as long as it's clear that you understand an event in the story that you're reporting on and you understand the characters that are involved in that event, then that's fine. Um, do you demonstrate an understanding of how to write a headline? So are you able to do that skill? Uh, and can you write a lead paragraph that includes most of the five W's? So that is all going to make up your knowledge mark. Your thinking mark is going to be based more on your planning of the project. So is it carefully planned and does your report remain focused on the one event that you're reporting on? So you don't jump to the many different events, you keep your writing focused on this one event and you really use that inverted pyramid structure where you give an overview and then narrow your focus 
and talk about it in detail, perhaps chronologically. Uh, are you effectively summarizing the event and is it informative for an audience? So what I'm trying to say here is, does the report cover what the audience would want to know about the event? So um, you could talk about an event and things that are happening, but you should be saying what people would maybe want to know about the event. So for example, uh, if there uh, was, say, a flood or something like that, going back to disasters, if we were talking about a flood, um, people would probably want to know um, if the area is safe to return to, right? If uh, people had to evacuate a region because there was a flood, then they would want to know, well, well, can I return? They might want to know how bad the damage was. So you need to be talking about things in your report that the audience would want to know about. Um, if you just give some basic information about the event, then that's not really enough, right? So you have to think about, okay, if I was the audience, what would I want to know about this? Um, and then your quotations, do they effectively demonstrate the character's traits and provide useful information to the audience? So like we said, you should show your character's traits through what they're saying and how they're saying it, um, but your quotation should also provide useful information. It shouldn't just be like, wow, that was amazing. Your communication. Uh, so this is going to be, do you know how to communicate in news report? Do you know how to write it in the correct format? Right, so headline and then under, underneath that byline and then your report organized in the different paragraphs. Does it look like a professionally written news report? Uh, do you have your quotations in the correct format where you have the person's full name uh, and their um, title, so to speak, um, as well as the quotation? And is it written in the style of a news report? Uh, so not does not only does it look like a news report, but are you writing in that written style? Are you writing in the past tense? Are you staying fact-based? Are you avoiding personal pronouns? So not just are you telling a story that makes sense, uh, but are you telling it in the correct kind of style? Okay, and then your application, uh, exemplary application of spelling and grammar. Uh, so usual grammar marks here, subject verb agreement, uh, use of past tense and other verb tenses. Watch out for, for plurals. Some people uh, forget when to add S's on to, to words um, and your sentence structure. So again, the big one here is avoid run-on sentences. Avoid trying to say too much in one sentence. Uh, right? If you Try reading the sentence to yourself. If it's too long for you to read and you feel out of breath, you probably have a run-on sentence. So keep your sentences nice and short and simple. And are you using vocabulary uh, that suits the subject that you are covering. Um, so depending on what you're talking about, your words, the words that you use, you may need to think about some words that relate to your uh, topic and you might need to look up some words that relate to your topic. So for example, uh, if you were talking about a disaster, uh, then you would have words like damage or destroy or evacuate. Uh, right, you're, you need to think of words that relate to your topic, and that's why we have that section in the outline here. What are some words that come to mind when I think of my event? Okay, so that's pretty much it. Uh, so just to quickly summarize, you're writing a news report based on a short story. So you have to read the short story, you have to complete the outline by June 9th, and then uh, we will conference with it, or I will give you written feedback, and then by June 16th you have to write your full report. That's it. Thank you.